Welcome back guys. This shadow boxing is going to be based off our tie kicks, our rhinos kicks to the midsection. So we're going to be doing it the following. Now first I'll be showing you how to actually do the tie kick and then you can get into the workout with the shadow boxing. So right here, fighting stance. If you're ready, put your right foot back, left knee, put your left foot back, put your hands up, bring them back and forth. Now when we kick, when we, we want to be pushing off, as we push off that back foot, we're going to be taking a step. That step is slightly diagonal, that way it opens up your hip. If you step forward this way or this way, then you're gonna close your hip, it's gonna make it harder for you to kick. So I'm gonna open up the hip, step on the ball of my foot, that way I can go up. If you do a low kick, you wanna take a drop step, the higher you kick, the higher you go up on the ball of the foot. So I'm here, I'm pushing off, and then from there here, okay. Now something very important, is that once we kick, we wanna keep our balance. Shadow boxing is amazing to get that power and balance combination. When I kick, I wanna make sure that I extend same arm, same leg, I'm whipping as a counterweight, all the hand stays up for defense, so I'm here, this hand stays up, this hand's gonna be in my counterweight, here, I whip it through. As I go through, if you notice, I step forward. Of course, be careful if you don't have you know, space at home, uh, be careful with the kicks. But um, if you notice also, I'm not really using too much space. It's about uh, two squares, nothing much. I'll say about five or six feet squared. So right now, I'm pushing off, kicking through and stepping forward with balance. So I don't wanna be falling back like this. This year, I'm not, it's not good. At the beginning, sometimes when we're warming up, a lot of times we end up doing that. I'll show you here from the side. I'm pushing off, I'm stepping diagonally, diagonally and then from here, I kick, and I step over here with control. If you notice I'm not falling forward, I'm not falling back. I step down with control. This is gonna allow me to have a stable base. From here I can block, from here I can kick, from here I can come back to my base, all right? Now if you do the other leg, your left leg, we're gonna be doing a switch kick or a step kick. So when we do the step kick, all we do is step with our rear leg forward. If you notice, I also step with my foot diagonal, so I'm not stepping this way, foot diagonal, and then from there, I can kick. So I'm here, I step with my foot diagonal. From here, I kick, same thing with control. Same arm, same leg, it's gonna be extended as a counterweight, other hand's gonna be up for defense, so I'm stepping this way, diagonal. I step, kick, and then step through with control. So I'll, I'll show you here on this side. So I'm here, I step diagonal, I step diagonal. From here, kick come with control all the way down, and from here I can step, step back to my normal base. Now if you're gonna do, lastly, the switch kick, what we can do is that our lead leg, the one that's in front, is gonna go back first. So it's gonna go back first, other leg's gonna be put, it's gonna, this leg's gonna be pushing, this one's gonna be stepping. So it goes in two steps. One, two, nice and easy. And you can do it just like that. One, two, and then from there I push, Okay, so I'm essentially switching my base, staying in the same spot. So this time we're not going forward, this time we're just doing it in the same spot. So we're gonna go one, two. So again, lead leg goes back or to the foot right here, about, and then this one's gonna be pushing as I push from here, I kick. All right, so I'll shoot it this way, here. Back, forward, again. Back, forward, and then from here, I kick. Even if you do it fast, you still want to be taking those two steps, that way you have a good ground and good balance on the ground. So even if I do it fast here, boom. Right, if you notice, if you hear the ground, still two steps. So listen closely here, two steps. Two steps, and same thing, once I kick, I kick through with balance and I come back. If you have enough space and you want to kick all the way through, that'll be amazing but make sure you have balance. That's why shadow boxing is so, so effective and so, so important because I want to make sure that I throw all my techniques with power, with speed here, but I control my power, right? Especially if you're in a fight, you miss the attack, you miss the kick. You want to make sure that you're not falling over, falling into somebody's attacks, falling into somebody's punch, kick, whatever. I want to make sure I have a strong base that way I can come back, defend myself, and counter. All right, guys, so those are the basics of how to throw kick. So let's get started with our shadow boxing workout. We will be starting with the following rear kick, lead kick, block, and kick. Starting with the warm up, nice and easy. Rear kick, make sure you go all the way through. Keep your balance and keep your body weight going forward. Do not lean back 
and put your body weight back nice and easy swing same arm as your leg as the counterweight other hand stays up for defense step in front and come back nice and easy as you warm up those hips I'll show you here from this side in this angle again rear kick rear kick and come back with balance rear kick go through full motion of the technique but keep your balance rear kick come back rear kick notice how I fall a little bit forward with balance I'm not falling backwards rear kick rear kick here you go again rear kick nice and easy as you feel your hips loosen you can go a little bit faster a little bit stronger rear kick then back to your front and stance we're going to switch our base and then do the rear kick with the opposite base so if you're a righty you're going to be a lefty if you're a lefty you're going to have your righty stance so rear kick and go all the way through rear kick try to turn your hip rear kick rear kick if you can't kick middle you can kick a little bit lower just try your best this is how you get flexible also just trying the kicks out not only just stretching but actually kicking and trying to put your hips in there so rear kick and come back again same arm same leg is going to be the counterweight swing in the arm other hand is going to be up for defense then rear kick come back rear kick 10 more seconds rear kick come back rear kick good nice and easy warming up if you feel good you can speed it up rear kick now we're gonna be doing a block and then rear kick and then come back so we'll be doing a block same leg is gonna be kicking so block step step kick again block step in place step and kick again block step step kick step diagonally block step step kick that way you open your hip block step step kick block step step kick block step step kick now we're going to be doing the lead leg without switching our pace but we're going to be going back so we're going to block with the lead leg step back step forward kick block with the lead leg step back step forward kick Again, block with the lead leg, step back, step forward, kick. Five more seconds. Block, step back, step forward, kick. Three, two, one, time. All right, guys, the second round is going to be a jab, hook, and kick. Same hand, jab, hook, and from there, you're going to be pushing off rear kick. Here, again, jab, hook, kick. And then the second one is going to be a jab, cross, step, kick. So it's going to be jab, cross, step, kick. Depending how much space you have, you can just make your step a little bit shorter. You don't have to step right in front. You can just step here to the foot. So jab, cross, step, kick. And then make sure you always come back. All right, guys? Let's get started. Round number two. We're going to go for a jab, hook, kick. Second, jab, cross, step, kick. So right now jab hook same hand and then rear kick jab hook same hand rear kick jab hook same hand and then rear kick balance with your kick putting that body weight forward jab hook and kick coming back to your fighting stance jab hook kick let's start speeding it up jab hook kick jab hook and kick come back to your fighting stance jab hook kick keep that body weight going forward jab hook kick make sure you're not falling backwards with your kick coming back to your fighting stance jab hook kick fast and strong jab hook kick good balance good control of your power jab hook and kick coming back jab hook kick good base good balance jab hook kick same hand as your kick is going to be swinging for a counterweight Ready, jab, hook, kick. Good, jab, hook, kick. Same hand for the punches. Jab, hook, kick. Jab, hook, kick. Keep that body weight going forward. Jab, hook, and kick. And jab, hook, kick. Jab, hook, 
kick. 10 more seconds, jab hook, kick. 5 seconds, jab hook, kick. Good speed, good power, good balance. Now we're going to be going for jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Step with your foot diagonal, that way you have your hips open and it'll make it easier for you to kick. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Start speeding it up. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Swing your leg right through. Jab cross, step kick. With good control, good balance. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. And then come back to your fighting stance. Jab cross, step kick. Step back, step back. Back to your fighting stance. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Step back, step back to your original stance. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Almost there. Jab cross, step kick. Swing with balance, swing with power. Fast punches. 30 seconds. Jab cross, step kick. Jab cross, step kick. Keeping your body weight forward, chin down. If you put your chin up, head up, your body weight is going to go back. So keep that chin down. Good. Coming back to your fighting stance. Jab cross. Step kick, nice and sharp. Jab cross, step kick, fast punches. Jab cross, step kick, five seconds. Jab cross, step kick. Three, two, one, and time. All right, guys, third and final round is gonna be a cross hook, block, step back, step a little bit forward or in place, and then kick. So again, cross, hook, block, step, step, Kick, cross, hook, block, step, step, kick. With balance, with control. Now, second combination is gonna be a upper cross, lead leg block, step back, step a little bit forward, and kick. So we're changing our base. So again, upper cross, block, step back, step forward, and then kick. All right guys, get ready, and let's get started. Last round gonna be cross hook, block and kick, lead upper, cross, lead block and kick. So we're starting off with cross hook, block and kick. Cross hook, block, same leg is gonna be kicking. Cross hook, block, same leg, kick. Again, cross hook, block, step, step and kick. Speed it up. Cross hook, block, step, step and kick. Keep that body weight forward. Cross hook, block, step, step and kick. Cross hook, block, step, step and kick. Same leg as the block is going to be kicking. Nice balance with your block and speed with your punches and your kick. Cross hook, block, step, step, kick. Cross hook, block, step, step, kick. Cross hook, block, step, step, kick. Chin down, other hand. Same hand as your legs, gonna be doing the counterweight. Other hand is gonna be up on your face for defense. Fast punches, cross hook, block, step, step, kick. Cross hook, block, step, step, kick. Cross hook, block, and kick. There you go. Cross hook, block, and kick. Fast and strong, cross hook, block, and kick. And with good, good balance, good, good control. Good, cross hook, block, and then kick right away. As soon as you drop your leg, you're gonna go right for the kick. Cross hook, block, and then kick. Now we're gonna be going for the lead. Lead upper, cross, lead block, step back, and kick. Again, lead upper, cross, lead leg block, step back, and kick. Make sure you step all the way back with your lead leg same leg that is blocking is going to be doing the kick in this case it's going to be your lead leg so if you're ready you're going to be doing your left leg if you're lefty you're going to be doing your right leg speeding it up upper cross block and kick upper cross block step back and kick all the way back upper cross block and kick upper cross block and kick there you go upper cross Block and kick. Speed with your punches. Speed with your kick. Control with all your techniques. Keeping that chin down. Body weight forward. Going all the way through with your kick. 
almost there 30 seconds repetition keep going upper cross block and kick upper cross block and kick again upper cross block step back and kick upper cross step back and kick upper cross block step back and kick almost there 10 seconds speed it up fast as you can good control good power almost there five seconds upper cross block step back and kick time we're gonna go right into our strength conditioning so get ready First up is going to be 50 seconds of mountain climbers. Let's go. 50 seconds. Make sure you pump your knees all the way to your chest between your legs. Keeping that core nice and strong. That back straight. Extend your legs all the way back. Bringing those knees to your chest. Alternating legs. Keeping the legs moving. 30 more seconds. Breathe out. Breathe out. Keep pumping the legs. Knees up, knees up, all the way back, alternating the legs, keeping the arms straight, core nice and engaged, 15 seconds, almost there. You should feel your abs burning as well, you, as, well as your arms. 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. Now we're going to go right into 50 seconds of plank. From there, right away, plank, hold the plank. Make sure your back is nice and straight. Legs are locked. You can even look forward if you wish. Make it a little bit harder. Right now the arms should also be burning from holding that, that plank with your mountain climbers. Keep holding it. Abs should be burning as well. All these strength conditioning drills are being packed together to make it into a really, really strong workout for your abs and for your all overall body. 20 seconds. Hold, hold, hold. These are the last part of a workout. Almost there. 10 seconds. Hold, hold, hold. Nice and strong. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to go for a side plank for 50 seconds. I'm going to keep our arm in a straight line with our shoulder. Keeping that body up on one side. Both, both legs are going to be staggered on top of each other. Core nice and tight. You should be really feeling it right now in your core, especially on the sides. Those obliques. If you can see my body right now, I'm sweating. Sweating sweating hard right now because I'm going to keep de doing these exercises one after the other. Good, okay, less than 20 seconds. Hold, hold, hold. Core nice and tight. Don't let your body drop. Don't let the arm give out. Strong arm, strong core. Less than 10 seconds. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna be going for the other side. Keeping the arm on the ground. Parallel with our shoulder. Body up, core engaged. Obliques engaged. Legs are gonna be staggered on top of each other. Keep that core nice and strong, nice and tight. Breathe out if you want to make it even harder. Keep breathing out. Keep tightening that core. Less than 30 seconds. After this one more exercise. Keep it strong. Keep it strong. Arm should be burning. Core should be burning. Good. Less than 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Almost there. Hold. Hold. Strong core. Strong core. 10 seconds. Almost there. Hold. Hold. 5 seconds. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go for 20 push-ups to finish off our training for today. Ready? Right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Great work, guys. See you guys in the next workout.